I mean, I don't get it. Can someone explain this to me? Because I can't seem to wrap my head around this. If Rat Boy was so passionate about helping people, how does he have the time to sue me? As stated in this lawsuit, Dr. Saladino is passionate about understanding and correcting the roots of chronic disease and using this information to help patients enjoy better lives. Yeah, he's uh, so passionate about helping people enjoy better lives that instead of doing nutritional research, making free educational videos, he's suing me for more money. Hmm, isn't that a little bit contradictory? How does he have the time to take out of his selfless, human-serving schedule to sue me? Shouldn't his efforts be going towards something more positive? Even when he was plagiarizing over 100 of my ideas, statements, business ventures, I didn't sue him because I'm putting 100% of my efforts truthfully towards helping people. And now I have to spend my efforts towards this lawsuit. So not only is he lying about wanting to help people, he's also impeding my ability to help people. And with how much of a rat this guy's been, he's gonna need some big ass bolt cutters to trim those whiskers off his face. And before we go into this, if you guys can sign up on frankdestefano.com, for the email list just to stay in touch. As I've spent you know, the last four years on YouTube building up my businesses to give back, just to scrape by enough money to keep more businesses afloat, you know, things I deem are necessary to help people, you know, Wi-Fi shielding clothing, high quality animal foods, nutritional supplements to fix modern lifestyle imbalances. And this guy has made millions of dollars last year astroturfing my ideas. He throws one lawsuit at me and I can't afford to buy a car that's not 20 years old. A second lawsuit and I'm about to declare bankruptcy. The first time he sued me in San Diego, knowing I lived in New York, so I had to waste $13,000 on a San Diego lawyer just to get the case dismissed. I was never refunded my attorney fees. Even so, I didn't file counterclaims. If I did that, I would have been out another $15,000. What are the options? I spend all the money I have left defending this case. You know, that would mean that the farm, the future of providing high quality animal products, you know, wanting to expand to things like raw dairy, soy free corn free eggs, high quality bacon, charcuterie, jerky, you know, delay that for years. Possibly it never happens. I don't know what's going on with that. And I still haven't decided if I want to ask for donations or not, uh, mainly because you know I don't want to take people's money because this rat degenerate scumbag is suing me. Uh, so I'll keep you guys updated on the case as much as possible. So far, I've just been writing up stuff to, to file my own claims because <laughs> I've spoken to over half a dozen lawyers and not one of them gave me the same answer, let alone a straight one. Basically, the more you pay a lawyer, the better the law firm. You know, the more claims and motions you can file, which increases your chances of winning something, but you know, tens of thousands of dollars quickly becomes hundreds. And I'm imagining this lawsuit is gonna cost a lot of money again. Uh, not really a lot for a lawsuit, but you know, for an individual like myself, yeah. I mean, most likely we'll reach a settlement. You know, the only question is how much I'm going to have to spend on a lawyer to reach that settlement. But, you know, I'd like to be in a position where I don't have to worry about, you know, saving money on every single thing. You know, as I've said, you know, I, I'm still with my parents. I, you know, drive a 20 year old car. I, this has put me in a position that I was slowly trying to get myself out of. Uh, but in brighter news though, some, Westchester Magazine published my article. Homophobic slur charged in lawsuit of bicoastal carnivores fight for diet dominance. A California carnivore is fighting a Westchester carnivore to restore his reputation in the dog eat dog world of meat eating nutrition services. Paul Saladino of San Diego claims that Frank Tofano of New York posted defamatory videos depicting him in 
sexually graphic and homophobic images, for instance, and hijacked his name for an internet domain in a lawsuit filed November 7th in U.S. District Court. Why is a 43-year-old doctor suing a 27-year-old former bartender? Tofano asked in a brief telephone interview. It doesn't make any sense at all. Why does he care about what some guy in New York thinks? Saladino had already sued him in San Diego, he said, and the case was recently dismissed for lack of jurisdiction. The carnivore diet is based on the belief, rejected by mainstream nutritionists, that eating only meat and meat products and avoiding fruits and vegetables is the path to well-being. Tofano is a former bodybuilder and personal trainer who wrote, The Ancestral Indigenous Diet a whole foods, meat-based carnivore diet, copyrighted in 2019. Saladino, a medical doctor, wrote, The Carnivore Code, unlocking the secrets to optimal health by returning to our ancestral diet, copyrighted in 2020. He claims he has helped hundreds of patients reverse autoimmunity, chronic inflammation, and mental health issues using a carnivore diet. Both meat eaters promote their services on social media, sell merchandise such as nutritional supplements and free range meats, and offer personal consultations. Yeah, I wonder why he didn't mention I was doing all that stuff a year or two before Rat Boy showed up on the scene. Hmm. Tofano sees Saladino's reputation and presence on social media, the complaint alleges, as a threat to his own enterprise, which is similar in vision. If that was the case, wouldn't I care about the other dozen carnivore influencers that are on the scene that also have a sizable audience? Why would I just pick out one person? There's other carnivore doctors, there's plenty of other people I could have picked on. Tofano said it is Saladino who is threatened, and he claims that the doctor has plagiarized his materials at least 50 times. Yeah, I made about three videos calling him out for his plagiarism. All I did was point it out and make a few jokes along the way. In October, Tofano registered the internet domain paulsaladino.com, according to the complaint, to divert customers from Saladino's similarly named paulsaladinomd.com. Then Tofano allegedly posted sexually graphic, homophobic images of Saladino. He linked to videos in which he describes himself as the source of Saladino's information on the carnivore diet and depicts Saladino as a plagiarizer, a thief, and a drug abuser. Hey, ratty boy, if your best defense is taking a joke out of context, uh, I don't know, that doesn't have too many legs to stand on. The images are not homophobic. Tofano said. Rather, they depict a man wearing a mask of Tofano and performing a sexual act on Saladino. The joke is that he's sucking the information out of me. Saladino accuses Tofano of cyber piracy, unlawful registration of a domain name, deceptive trade practices, and defamation. Though he is not demanding a pound of flesh, Saladino is seeking $600,000 in damages. He is asking the court to stop Tofano from publishing defamatory statements, make him remove defamatory videos and take down his website, transfer ownership of paulsaladino.com to Saladino, and order him to make efforts to restore Saladino's reputation. Brooklyn attorneys David D. Lynn and Michael D. Cliento represent Saladino. <laughs> oh man, this guy, Mr. Ratty has must have had some really pampered delusional upbringing because uh, he, he's in this illusion of, of what is reality and what is not you know if no one likes you because someone else is telling the truth about you i don't know what to say uh so thank you guys for joining me today uh, i figured this was kind of like the next update for this lawsuit and and listen i, I really don't want to talk about this on my channel uh, the only reason I made that plagiarism video recently was because, you know, he was on the largest platform there is, Joe Rogan, and I felt like I had one last opportunity to defend myself. You know, I would not say another word about this guy, but now there's a lot on the line, you know, especially everything I've worked towards, seemingly. Uh, so, yeah, if you guys do want to support that vision, uh, definitely let me know what you think down in the comments below. Please drop a like on the video, and if you can, share it on social media. As I mentioned earlier, you know, please sign up for the newsletter on frank I'm going to try to uh, start sending out stuff to you guys. Thank you guys for joining me today. 
and uh, I'll see you guys for tomorrow's video.